Hi, I'm Chris from Air Windows, and hey, you can do this. That's moving one knob on the new plugin, which is Air Windows Bez EQ. That's right. The idea here is to try out that uh, undersampling stuff that I do, the Bezier curve reconstructions. And I wanted to find out, well, what happens if you use it as a filter crossover? And I'll tell you, uh, terrible things happen, but this might actually be what I need for use with um, Console H. Because remember, my idea for Console H, the hip hop console, is reinvention of sound. I've already got Console X for doing your sort of SSLifying, hyping up sound while keeping it in the same character that it already was. And I'll look into doing something that is much more like polished and symphonic and kind of stuff, because I could see that being useful as well. But console H needs to be the one where you can reinvent sounds in a really radical level. And let's see what that means here. So we've got this going on. And I could try to show you what the treble mid and bass do. Here it is. Except for it immediately will go strange. So check this out. No bass. Sounds normal-ish, right? No mid. So there's your highs. Here's your mids. Here's your bass, but you're starting to notice something interesting about this. We have some of that quality of the um, D-Res, because that's what this is doing. It's using D-Res as a crossover. And that means some funny things happen. Among them, You can be messing stuff up so severely that you could be playing stuff and not even know what it is. Len I said you'd be able to do even this. Guess who? So I'm going to switch off at that before I get myself in trouble. But if I didn't give you those little peaks through to the underlying sound for just a fraction of a second, it's possible you wouldn't even guess what that was. That's what console H needs to be about, being able to take stuff and just reinvent it in the DAW on the console to make completely different things happen. And here's some examples of stuff that you can do. For instance, also notice it's making a terrible sound, right? But if I put treble, mid, and bass back to exactly 0.5 in balance, suddenly it won't be all screwed up anymore. That's what this naturally sounds like. That's my modern Tron patch for Surge XT. Um, I'll see about getting stuff like that together. I need time to do it, and who has time anymore? Um, but 
That's what the modern tone sound patch sounds like. It's just that the crossovers can be just about anything. And if everything is perfectly in balance, that won't do anything. But then when we start doing stuff like the crossovers between treble and mid and mid and bass are now much more aggressive. See, if we cross over the bass right down to zero and the treble all the way up, then we have the sound back, kind of. But this is rolling off highs in a characteristic way that's a resi Q style way rather than a normal crossover way. And this is rolling off lows similarly. And you can do both at the same time to the extent that you can make them really get kind of aggressive. So we could do that. And if we do that, we could play something Yes. And I could keep playing this all day, although I won't, but I could keep playing that all day and you would never be content ID struck for it because it is so radically reinvented the sound that it is unrecognizable. And of course, if we put that on a drum track, which is mine, so I can let you hear that. We're doing incredibly aggressive things with just only the mid band, but we're crossing the bass over super high and the treble over super low and making them interact with each other in a horrible way. And yeah, so you can do that all day long. Here's a guitar. But that's still complete sound destruction, right? So if you're shooting to do something else that could be like hip hop wise, for instance, say you've got a vocal. I've got a vocal here. Of your affair. This is from a song that I did called Rise, in which it's meant to be a mean vocal. It's a bridge, which is saying mean, nasty things that the chorus then responds to. And if we have it on, which we do, we have um, the crossovers like roughly in the middle there and treble mid and bass are exactly matched, meaning that they are not going to do terrible weird things yet. Of your affairs, this amounts to... Suppose we want to get more aggression out of that. Well, the thing to do with that is uh, treble boosts. So let's get aggressive out of that. Of your affairs, this amounts to downright spiteful. Who's the fool so we can make it real bright. To deny the only but listen to what happens right when we drop it down affairs. a little bit. Of your affairs, this amounts to downright spiteful. Who's the fool who stands and dares to deny the only rightful governor? So there's a lot of more aggression in that because what we're doing this time is taking the de-res algorithm and subtracting it from the rest of the sound. And it turns out that gives you a odd sort of like, it's not exactly a tilty cue. The, the very top end isn't actually getting boosted all that much more, but it has that way of pulling out a lot of aggressiveness and who's to say whether that might not come in useful? Again,
of your affairs. This amounts to downright spiteful. Who's the fool who stands and dares to deny the and only you bring rightful mid -range governor gun. of your affairs? No, him There's now, the body of the sound no again. There's no one fairer shown by all he'll take away. So if you need to add hype and treble and intensity to a vocal, this one EQ is able to give you that simply by pushing the treble. It's also kind of reminiscent of your really retro, like, old Beatles and stuff. There's a certain rowdiness to it that uh, speaks to me along those of lines. Your affairs. This amounts to downright spiteful. Who's the fool who stands and dares? You can put it right in the mid range. The only rightful governor of and your again, affairs. Rossigal? Know him now, there's no one it's fairer. Not nearly as aggressive. Shown by all he'll take away. Love's a trick in life. That's pretty intense. And I did not have that before experimenting with this sound. But wait, there's even more. Because remember how this interacted with stuff in the lows in a fairly aggressive way? You have not yet heard what that actually means for a melodic waveform, a waveform that is meant to have a note to it rather than just drums, rather than a full band mix, because be cautious of running a full band mix through this. It could be dangerous. Here's what you get. Full governor of your affairs. This amounts to down. Shown by all he'll take away. Love's a trick and life's a terror. What then do you have to say? Suddenly we have a horrifying ring modulator effect on the bottom there. And that's consistent with everything that you try on it. See, we don't have a note down there. We have a mess down there. And that's a key thing for this particular thing, because what it's going to do, I wonder if I have a, a sign there, perhaps not. Well, I mean, again, here is, here's a Beatles singer, and you can hear very clearly that you're no longer getting the note, you're getting a modulation of the note. So what I was going to do, and uh, perhaps that's not for me to do today, I'll try to do it with this drum track, is supposing you're bringing in like 808s or something. You're bringing in electronic drums. They're largely kind of sign based. And you're going, what do I do to make this huger? Well, here's the sound. Here's the kick and the bass setting of it. If you turn it down far enough, it's subsonic, and you have filtered out everything. And then you put mid-range in, and you can have it back. But if you just bring it up a little bit, you're going to start getting sounds that are no longer part of the original sound. And so here's a completely reinvented sound. Using it on a, a kick from some kind of electronic drum would work much the same way. You can use the setting of the crossover between mid and bass to work out what kind of odd interaction you're going to get between the real sound and the addition that you're making. And the funny thing about it is you would imagine this only happens when you're boosting bass, but it's doing some of that even if you're only listening to the mid-range, which we are. Because you see, this is what it started as. 
and then you see start bringing it in even only just using the mid-range. It synthesized additional bass frequencies. Or indeed mid-range frequencies. Or a complete mess. Again, complete reinvention of the sound using just an EQ because it's not really an EQ. It's a strange thing that acts a little bit like an EQ. There you have it. Bez EQ is this week's Air Windows plugin, and you can have it for free because it's an open source plugin, and I continue to live based on my Patreon, and the Patreon has been doing fine for enough weeks and months and years that I've been able to get all this stuff together. And that lets me just give it out as open source often is done. And that also means I get to give it out to everybody. No exceptions. And that means you. So here we are with BezEQ. Those X things are for using the crossovers, because that's crossover is a shortened to that. And treble, mid, and bass are how you dial in either a normal-ish sound or exaggerated in some way. For instance, if you're pulling back the deep bass while also adding this funny interaction, because you have to add the funny interaction at all times when you're actually making a change. There are no settings on this that will just normally filter. It's all about exploiting the weird interactions to get a funny sort of invented sound that you can use. And on that note, I'll get back to work because there's more stuff that I can make and give to you and everybody who would like to have free, interesting audio tools. Again, such a, I grew up in this church called the Episcopal Church that uh, my mom used to go to back when I was a kid. And it turns out I left them and they ended up still being cool years later when I looked around and saw Okay, neat. And that's one of their sayings. So I will indeed give all of my plugins to everyone, no exceptions. And I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.